Hey guys, what's going on? It's not welcome on to the stream. Hope you are very well. This Monday evening we are back with some black hole. Um carrying on where we left off um last week. What was it? Thursday. Um we're kind of like at the end of one of these sections about to rescue. Yeah, we're about to rescue our next crew member. I think I figured out who Skelet talked. Yes, it was me. We can hear uh, You'll be. Uh, well, I didn't check though before we started. Let's uh, so back here. Is what is our starting death count? All right. So we're gonna start on, on 1,250 deaths. 1250 is our starting score. Let's make a note of that in the chat. So when we um, finished playing uh, the other night, actually, uh, we worked out what to do. So we, we figured this level out, but it was, okay. I was just more of a, a case that I got to a sex section Not, where else to do anyway. my fingers were absolutely killing. I couldn't, I couldn't do it no more. So, um, uh, yeah, let's uh, see what we can do here again. Maybe. Okay, I'll be quiet. Maybe that will help you. Uh, Great, I thought he'd never stop. All right, so. First of all, we need to do this. Jump May across I to ask this you one. something? Do you like cakes? Everyone does. And ponies. Do you like ponies? Because um, the hit markers, hit boxes on their bicycles again. I really, really, really love to. Ponies are cool. They don't care about mankind's problems. They don't fly around in spaceships. Jeez. Well, some ponies do, but that's a long story. They don't care about infidelity. They love each other. I need a hug. I'm changing the results of my analysis. He must be on something, or more likely, he's just nuts. Not everyone can go through a black hole unaffected. All right, so one. Ah, I've been stuck here for quite a long time. Why don't you hurry up? Because they are trying to find a way to get to you, okay? There are like 20 lasers trying to suck all the life out of your body. So, shut up. Skelet, chill out. There is just one laser. But worth 20? And I'm bored. How are you planning to get to me? We are close to a solution. Hold on. I know how to get to you. Ice is not nice, companion. You are right. What's going on, buddy? Welcome along. Hope you're well tonight or this afternoon for you. <sighs> yeah, and if I fall down there, I can't get back up, which is pretty punishing, unfortunately. Ah, uh, thank you. I think I was going to make it then. Don't forget, as always. So, what? That big red button yeah, saying it's, override was pressed by our hero here. It's one of those like the coffee guy? You gotta do like everything in, in one shot on planets. Oh no. No! All that time I thought it was me who'd saved us. Alright, so now all the hope disappeared from my That's heart. the setup. I'm no The dialogue actually calms itself down. I, I am not a hero anymore. Alright, so you, you never were. Now it's great we've got you up there. Oh, how dare you speak to me? Oh, All right, so. I'm so angry. I can't believe I was investigating this hole just to learn it was you in there. No! <laughs> oh, that's... That's frustrating. The ice is just... Killer, you just—it's really hard to slow yourself down. 
and not hit the spikes on the ice. Alright, so. Alright. We're good at this. I press right like a fraction too early. I would love to see you play this at Conclan, given your history of um, rage videos and rage streams in the past. I think this would be a pretty good one for you. I would love to see how patient you can remain for how long for. <laughs> Christmas, so buddy. Oh, my, yeah, I my um, uh, my son just finished that at the weekend. Actually, he well, he didn't finish it, but he um, he beat Bowser at the weekend. Um, I've not actually got through. The, I've not had time to play it. I've recently just finished. Um, I've just defeated Ganon, Calamity Ganon on Breath of the Wild. So finished all the main quest stuff on uh, Zelda. Uh, that's what I'm playing on the Switch at the moment, in my spare time. Not that I get a lot of it, but... Wait for Christmas to fix your PC. You still on a, a laptop, aren't you, at the minute? I think you was running a laptop, I think, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I Breath of the Wild, I was really... When I first started playing that, I wasn't very keen on it because it was such a different... It's so different to any previous Zelda game that I've played. There's a green tunic. Oh my god, I need to find that. Or did you just dye it green? But yeah, I was so... Um, oh shit, that's my mic. My boom. I was so kind of... I was a bit... Weirded out by Zelda when I first started playing it. Um, because it's so different. I'm so used to playing Zelda and you get like set weapons and whatnot. I'm not, I wasn't used to like the whole, for lack of a better term, like consumable system. Consumable system that they kind of operate. You mean to say you got all 900 Korok seeds? Because I'm pretty sure I read you need to get all the Korok seeds for 100%. I, I mean, I got patience, but I ain't got that much patience to go and find all them little things. And plus, actually, somebody told me that the, the reward wasn't that good for, like, getting all the Korok seeds and stuff, but... All the shrines. I know there's a there's 120 shrines in the game, isn't there? So, Ooh. Yeah. Didn't jump early enough. So yeah, that's what I'm working on next. Though I haven't really had a lot of free time to play the Switch lately, so it's normally been my um, when I'm not streaming, go take it to bed while Mrs. Knox falls asleep because she likes to go to bed really early and play like for two or three hours, but. I don't know, just not been feeling the switch at the minute. I do need to get back into it though. And then I can start Mario Wars properly. Alright, let's try again. Alright, so it's all shrines. Excellent. I hear that the um the uh, DLC, there's, it, there's like a DLC thing where you get like this one-shot weapon or something. Um, 
Yes. <laughs> well, for lack of a better... For lack of a better kind of, like, description, somebody said to me in another stream, uh, I was in their stream, and they said the reward for getting all the Korok seeds was basically a giant Korok seed itself, which is... seems a little bit pointless. Um, and they also said something about, apparently, Korok seeds are really... like, turds or something? So you're actually collecting, like, loads of turds and stuff. I don't know how true that is, but... Yeah. Oh, sh... Oof, got away with that, luckily. Uh, no, we don't have the DLC ourselves, but, um... My son watches, um... A lot of Stampy Long Nose, and, um... I think Stampy Long... Stampy's played himself with the DLC, and so I find out a lot from... My boy. Why can't I make this jump now? Oh my god, I think I've done it. No! I didn't see the... That is... That's harsh, man. That's harsh. That spike was hidden. So what do you need? I, what do you need for 100% on Odyssey? I guess you need to find all like the um, like the bonus coins kind of thing to buy all the outfits from the shops and things. Um, obviously all the power moons. Some of the I, I, I've noticed so from like watching Evan, um, a lot of the. Some, some of them are just like ridiculous they're just like in plain sight and like ridiculously easy so I think there's um jump rope oh, sorry jump rope moon yeah some of the moons like just seem like on the flip side of that completely easy too easy and in obvious places I'm having trouble with this jump all of a sudden there we go There we go. Come on, not this time. Come on. Let's get out of here. Woohoo! I have finally done it. Oh my days. Hallelujah. So, we finished up the level on uh, 1281. So, we had... Um, level deaths. 31. Uh, okay. Tried to do try the dark side of the moon and it's a boss rush with no health regens before fall. Oh jeez. Okay. Okay, that's crazy. Alright, crazy avalanche. Uh this looks like a sort of like it could be a rushing level, so um let's uh one, two, five, zero. So we're on twelve eighty one. Look, right in front of us. Too easy. Finally, hmm. something went right. We just come, take the part, and leave, and everything will be fine. Uh, it's not going to be that everything. easy, though, is it, Ariel? Let's face it. Well, or we'll set off an avalanche, which will bury us both alive. What are we waiting for? Run! Now! Jump, jump, jump! Uh, no, not this. This reminds me of some... Oh, shit. Jump, jump, jump! Uh, 
jump, jump, jump. Uh, no, not this. This reminds me of something. Oh. All right, this reminds me of like the lava rush. What? Oh, I'll go wait on there. Okay, I'll go wait on there. At least it's not like the last one. The last one in the last area we had to do was like a freaking. We was like playing a human game of Tetris. That was. Um... Quickly, don't be afraid to use the wind. Oh, I need to uh, flip the gravity. Yeah, the, the last one in the last area where we played the human game of Tetris. That was quite um, annoying. The analog stick though tonight, it's like it's a lot, a lot, a lot less brutal on my thumb. But let's see if, how I get on a little bit later. Cause I do like the D pad more than on these sorts of games. going down. You're watching One Piece Valfi, uh, going through all 800 episodes, unfortunately. Totally cheesed. Clearly, I cheesed getting through that the first time I got through there. Pretty rubbish when it comes to things like television shows and stuff. We don't—I don't really watch enough television to like, keep up to date with the stuff. I really still need to I still keep meaning to watch freaking Stranger Things. Sites, but man, those video players suck. Oh, an anime. Oh, I'm not really into animes. Um, I've never really understood the appeal, but I don't know, maybe being a bit older. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Pro strat. Pro strats, baby. Die out straight away. Yeah, we used to use um, we used to watch a lot of movies and TV shows through a, like a third party site, but it's just recently been shut down, which is a shame. I 
don't need to go high enough to like give me enough momentum when I drop out of there to fall straight through and not get affected by the wind. Something like that. There we go. Skills. What am I meant to do there? This is on a postcard. That was too much, too much height. At least it's not random every time, that's... That's one good thing. Try and learn each time you do this. Ooh, that's close. I don't know how I'm meant to get through this. I can't see a way through. That's death. I've said to uh, I've said to my wife on multiple occasions we need to watch it. That and um, blah, 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 blah. what's the other one? American is it American Horror Story. What? That's how I get up there. Jeez, that's harsh. This whole game is harsh. Harsh is tonight's word of the stream. I say um, we we are very behind on TV. Wow, I gotta be quick. Kind of mixed about it. The last thing we watched, we watched the um, I don't know if it's your sort of thing, which we, we quite like, um, we quite like horrors and stuff. Um, and the last thing we watched, we watched the uh, series of the Purge series that they made. It was quite, uh, that's okay. It wasn't too bad. If you've seen that. Your bag. That's ice, and you know it's slippery. Are you kidding? How on earth am I meant to make that? Jeez. Doctor Who. Um, I don't watch Doctor Who actually. Um, I never really watched Doc any Doctor Who. Evan started watching it on. Um, he started getting into it a little bit when he's not on his tablet or his switch or whatever you know, kids do these days. Wow. So what's so bad about the new series? So I think I've seen, I've seen, obviously I've seen the advertise that um, it's now a female doctor, isn't it?
how quick does that freaking snow move? <laughs> Probably the worst new who. Jeez. Okay. I hear a lot of people say that um, uh, David Tennant was the best doctor. Well, I quite like David Tennant as an actor. He's really, I, I find his, his work really good. Jeez, that was terrible. Yeah, David Tennant has been in so many good um, like dramas I've watched personally. Great actor. But back when he was like doing Doctor Who, he was like really young. Having said that, I've never watched Doctor Who. I mean, I've, I've caught glimpses of like sort of like the. Um, early episodes that Evan Evan has watched like from like the early 2000s and um, man does it look it looks really dated even for like a show from like the 2000s it's weird jump on the gravity platform right Shit, in front of you I'm actually old enough to like remember when Doctor Who was originally on television. Sure, in my age. <laughs> yeah, he's got a he's got a proper Scottish accent as uh, David Tennant. written pretty bad. You know, I, I can't comment because obviously I don't watch the show so. Now I'm struggling with this spike jump again. every year, don't they? Far ahead this time. That was close. Look, as much as I enjoyed 
<laughs> a new year episode. It's panicking, getting errors and reports about the system not functioning. Now we need to be careful about where we step. Is that clear? Oh, come on. What did I just say? Oh, jeez. Really? Now I've got to learn a whole other level. Another level. Faster, please. Faster. Don't stop. Oh, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can understand your frustration, especially when you're like really invested in a show and they start like messing around with it for some reason. I just don't understand schools these days, man. Like, seriously. Back when I, back when I was like, like uh, I guess what you guys call elementary school. Um, I don't know how it is for you guys over there, but um, we never used to get like any homework or anything. And um, now, like having two kids at like primary or elementary school. Ridiculous what they expect to chew up the, like our kids these days. So, for example, my daughter, who is four, just started school this year, like going to like a, a primary school. Um, oh, really? We're going to do that, are we? Okay. Um, so, they gave her a project to do. So, the project was for her to. Um, Pick her fairy f favorite fairy tale book. She had to read it. She then had to uh, pick a favorite character and write about why it was a favorite character. She then had to do story maps and f uh, like brainstorming diagrams about the story and like the uh, what what happens in the story. She then had to design a model with dimensions, labels, descriptions of how she's going to do it and what she's going to use. She didn't have to make the model, right? My daughter's four. My daughter, before going to school, could hardly write. She can hardly write now. She, she can write, like, basic letters, but she, like, really um, struggles to, like, form words. So her project actually turns into, like, mummy and daddy's homework, and we end up doing the project. It's just ridiculous. The amount of what, what they expect of, like, the kids these days at schools is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what schools are doing these days, man, seriously. Uh, and then in the next breath, the government will be moaning because, like, oh, too many kids are, um, too many kids are, like, passing their exams and they're getting too, too high grades in their education, like, in different bits and pieces. So, it's like swings and roundabouts. I just don't understand. What the hell? I mean, my son is, he's in, he's eight. He's like in his fifth year of um, like primary school now. 
um, and he just outright. I mean, we've we've done it with him now for four years. Like these these sort of school projects, they both go to the same like primary school. Um, but he just outright told his teacher this year that um, he wasn't doing the project. He just sat there and said, "No, I'm not doing it." So she just like gave him a whole load of oh shit, I'm probably going to jump up there. She just gave him like a whole load of extra other work to do, so he comes home with normal homework every week. But yeah, it's just crazy, man. I'm glad I'm not a kid in this day and age in our country who goes to school. Because the work is just ridiculous. But then I, I always think like, from what I, I mean, I don't know a lot about American schooling, but I always think elementary school and, and things in America is, is pretty tough because you have to not, it's probably not just an elementary school but you have to like pass the year don't you to like progress in America or else you have you, do you have to reset the year that's my understanding of it anyway I mean I might be completely wrong but I mean we just progress regardless there's no like final exams or anything at the end of the year came on Thursday. Yeah, the, the I, I don't like the ice. And I, I've said this like in a multiple times. The ice is just terrible because not it's really hard to control your character on the ice. But also, when you're not like against the clock like this, um, if you stand on a block of ice, it's got some weird like push mechanic so it pushes you if you stand on the edge it will push you off the block and it's really hard to like just position yourself right on the edge if you try and do something really precise so yeah i don't like the ice in this game either game I've had actually in my library for like a very long time. I just never got around to playing it and um, it's the one that Aaron suggested for me. So have you had any, have you had any snow this year, Conklin, or are you uh, snow free after that massive, all that snow you had earlier on in the year? I know Deathwish said that he, uh, they've already had some snow on the schools being closed and stuff, but uh,
Praise. It's still right now. Okay. Not enough to close anything down. Please. <laughs> I tell you what's frustrating about this game, there is no way you can just do this in one solid run because you don't know what to expect in like these pressure situations. You just don't know what's going to come next. Do you guys often get white Christmases or... American movies with like their white Christmases and it's like, yep, never happened like that over here. Poor Ponky, yeah, I'm trying, man. I am trying. How is it up in Scotland this fine evening? Shit, that was my first attempt. <laughs> it's sodden freezing. Yeah, it's, it's it's getting colder. It's getting colder here. Oh, to be fair, I was um, I was at the seaside uh, yesterday, and it was actually quite a nice day. It's uh, it's quite warm after the tor torrential weather of Saturday. See, what it really is, Popong, is I've already completed this, but. I felt like I didn't suffer enough, so I'm just like replaying it a couple of times just to get the better effect. <laughs> so I feel like I didn't experience the game enough the first when I did this first time, so. is killing well I can't switch to analog stick now because I've I've got all this way now with um, freaking out the d-pad I can't switch to analog stick now yeah if you're too slow then you just start again everything is it's got to be like time to perfection I don't like this jump here it's first jump across this these spikes is a bitch. Got loads of time now.
think you should put some of this in recurse too, poor Ponky. Yeah, because you make him recurse too, right? Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> oh, I'll just start again. That's rubbish. How is the game's development coming anyway, buddy? The idea behind the respawning is the um, my my AI counterpart actually stops me from dying, so they teleport me straight back to where I started off again. That's the idea behind the um, whole fading death and things. Well, I don't even need that block, so it's something. I don't have Mario Maker, no. I don't call clan. Do you pay for the um, do you pay for the like the Nintendo online service? And if you do, is it any good? Is it worth the money? game is almost done and it sort of sucks. Why is it so good? Turn me into Dashi. service I don't know if I don't know what games are included or not um, I don't pay for it um, although Evan keeps moaning me he's got Splatoon 2 and he wants to kind of like play online um, but yeah I don't pay for it myself I think it's only like, I think it's only like 18 18 quid a year or something I don't think it's like very expensive but I just didn't, I've not really heard or spoken to anybody who actually pays for the service so I don't I don't know what where, what, like, what it's like, whether it's worth it. Okay, just switch. It's the final level of this area, Paul Ponky, yeah. Hence the ridiculous like time limit against the avalanche kind of thing. And this is like the second half of the level as well. We've already done the first half. Wow, what? what? What the hell happened there? I felt like I just got, I got smacked in like next week. Uh, I just got switched now. I, I did have an original Wii a few years ago. I've never, I never had a Wii U though. Oh, 
Although when I say I've got a Wii, uh, I've got a Switch. Of course, I mean I bought my son a Switch, and it's his Switch. So Wii U out? Of course, Wii U's out. We've been out for bonks, poor bonky. I don't like that that makes me freaking. It's kind of harsh that it makes you wait. It makes you wait for the avalanche to catch up with you. There's no kind of like. They're kind of like getting too far ahead of it. Which sucks. Oh wow, did I really miss that? Yeah, we've just been out for uh, years, Pop Monkey. We did it. We did it. I'm starting to like the thought of us getting out of here. We've got another part. Let's finish this already. Woo! We did it. All right, so. We finished that level on 1,412 deaths. Oh my goodness. So we, we took like 100, we took 100 and Hundred and thirty nine deaths in that level alone. Holy smokes. But what is good is we collected every single self burn in this area. So yeah, that's um I'm pretty happy with that. So we have twenty four more I ain't doing this again. I ain't doing it again. We basically just did a massive like the whole level was pointless. We did like a massive. Hey, yeah, that's one way of putting it. Yeah, you got it. This is an entity. We are on an entity, uh, but it's like a planet. Well, almost like a planet. But I get it. You've told me like twenty times already. Do I really get it? Well, then I guess you don't have any problem explaining what I just said, then, Susa. The part about the entity? Smooth! Oh, you're not listening again! Problem? Uh, explaining something to Smooth is like a superhuman task! I'm done. I'm going off to the ship. You have not taken the results by speculating on the whole. Wait, and what about me? That's why we're standing here. This is a dimensional portal. We'll go with them to find help. That's how it works around here. I've done my part. Yeah, great. I'll wait here then. See you later. Are you ready? What are we waiting for? Smith, are, are you alright? Yes, I am. I'll come with you. I can do it. Skelet wasn't really easy. To be honest, not really. It's awesome I survived, but look around. Skelet was right about something. Technically, we are dead. Except for you. It's just a matter of time until we'll run out of supplies, oxygen, and energy. We can get oxygen on the ship. We've repaired the pressure chamber. We have an oxygen generating device on the ship. 
It's a bit harder with the supplies, but Selassie found some uncontaminated fruits that we can eat. Speaking of energy, Auntie worked on that and found a generator. Or you want to give up? No, of course not. But the whole mission seems pointless to me all of a sudden. Why did I even sign up? Why? I'll give you an answer soon. We're looking for black boxes. They contain all of my memory. And the moment I find this data, I'll explain everything to you. Thanks. Uh, but yeah, but I, I haven't been collecting the black boxes. Uh, so what was talking about? Stargate too? It does, doesn't it? I can't remember what we were talking about now. Before that cutscene. That's great! Awesome! Excellent! Yeah! Yeah! What are you doing? Look at that! Desert! I love it! The sand and sun! Really? Of course not. This is the worst day of my life. Look, sand everywhere. There and here too. Tons of sand everywhere. I would still say it isn't worse than falling into a black hole. Why do we have to be here? That's this black hole there. contains several dimensions for some reason. When we crashed, the cargo bay got torn right above, let's say, the boundary of these realities. The cargo bay contained a whole range of spare parts, and even though it seems we have enough self burns, that's not the case. Yeah, we're out of the we need area. to find more energetic nanobots and another spare part. So if you want to help us, stop whining and start looking for the part signal, and that will get Use you back home. Use the chosen one. I don't stand them all the time, and I can just like touch them. And now this is great. Okay, interesting. What? Okay, cactus kill me. Lesson learned. What the hell? Alright. Look, a crate! You can move it! In your button, your sandwiches. We have a password. You can talk. Wrong. Access denied. This portal speaks our Can't language. See, sounds better. <laughs> Along with the cell phones, we need a password to activate it. But yeah, no. You are correct. Cacti is plural. Right. Do whatever you want, just help us. Easy task. It seems that the desert is a peaceful place. We'll collect the self burns here quite easily. You reckon? Alright, we've got three to collect. Let's start. Um... Huh. Okay, I think that's how we're going to get this one. Sure of it. But how on earth do I get back? I can do that. Excellent. Alright, so that's how we do the first one. Good to note. Which way is that going? That way. Okay, that's two. So how do I get the last one? Okay, I think I'm gonna do this. All right, that was a pretty easy level. Did I do that deathless as well? Did I do that deathless? Uh, twenty-three. 
Three deaths. Three deaths. Okay. I'll take that. Three. All right, so our new total is fourteen twenty-three. I've taken three deaths somewhere. Uh, he wants to talk to me, right? Go, go find those self burns. I'll go and look for this heart of yours. I doubt though I'll find it without any charge of my PDA. There's a lot of light and heat in here, and what's more, the nearby glowing star emits a lot of radiation. Don't you have any idea how to use this at all? Fine, I will let you keep guessing. Alright, gritting is next. Uh, we've got four self burns to find. These blocks are crumbling. Okay. That's death. I've not, I've not watched it this year, I actually can't claim yet. I've not watched it, buddy, so I can't comment. I've heard from a lot of people, though, um, they weren't a fan of it. So I think I've got to rotate. Okay, so let's try and, and do... Welcome back among the living. I won't do that. Oh man, he's like the, he's like my most he's my favorite YouTuber of all time. That's not good. That wasn't good. Right, so how am I meant to get that then? We'll get that one like that. Again, you piece of. Only dislike due to the extreme jealousy. Interesting. I'm not sure I even watched last year's YouTube, we were right, to be honest. Ten million dislikes. Wow. That's a lot of dislikes. Jeez. 
don't really why because it goes backwards every year. <laughs> I'm trying to be too precise. What's the uh, what's the most disliked video on YouTube? Oh, sorry, it's the most... Sorry, I, I totally misread that. I thought you were saying it's replaced Justin Bieber's baby as the second most. But what you mean is it's pushed Justin Bieber's song to, to the second most. Right, gotcha. I'm oh, sorry, I apologise, buddy. Sorry, man. Thing is, though, with like things like that, I don't even I don't know who half them are because I I don't really I don't really follow any big YouTubers. No. Somebody done did hacked my shit, man. <laughs> uh Weird. I never had that happen before. Hack my print. <laughs> yeah, I don't subscribe to any, really, any big YouTubers anymore. I need to keep that block. That's the block that I want. That is the block I want. Woo, woo, woo. concentration yeah I, I it was like getting around like doing the stream and i just I, I did honestly come across all tired so i was like trying to think do i really want to stream tired this game but i just want to stream it's what i enjoy doing Yeah, I just I just prefer to support the small smaller channels, to be honest. Um, because whilst whilst I do follow channel, while I do follow, uh, you know, I do enjoy watching some of the bigger channel stuff. Um, really, though, I just. I just much prefer watching smaller channels. It's just the be all end all. I don't know why I'm even trying to you know, make it out to be anything else. That's just what it is.
Okay. That was interesting. I want to go back on that if I can. Yes, I would agree. I also kind of want to just try and... I can't replicate what I just did, though. That's the thing. Let's just do what I was doing before. So, do this, jump across here, jump across here. That's how I did it, that's how I did it. Right, so. So without the sand pyramids, sand pyramids, without the sand blocks there, I can't get those ones. I think, I think, in my, my, like, by no means expert understanding of YouTube, um, I tend to find that nine times out of ten, the smaller channels have far better content than a lot of the bigger channels. Uh, which I think is why I prefer watching the smaller channels. The, the content is more enjoyable to watch. And the, there seems to be a lot more time spent on content, making better content. And although I'm, I'm not saying that people who are bigger on YouTube don't deserve, you know, their, their subscribers and things. I kind of feel like the, the best, the best um, kind of way to I, I find like with like. My, my son, for example, a lot of the channel he channels he follows, like the gaming channels, um, to me it just kind of seems like if you want to be if you want to be relatively big in gaming and on YouTube, the best thing to do is um, sorry I'm concentrating as well at the minute. The best thing to do is kind of like make play games that appeal to like little kids. Half of the, half of the games and things and, and channels my my son follows aren't really things that I would be interested in, and I don't know, I just I just feel like a lot of the bigger YouTubes are playing those sort of games appealing to, to younger kids. If you look at demographic, although YouTube's meant to be a, a 13 plus subscription server, uh, sorry, you're meant to be 13 or over to have a YouTube account on like proper YouTube. It would be interesting to see like some of the the, the bigger. YouTubers to see what their actual demographic is. Try, I don't know, thinking about where you jump, okay? But I think a lot of the a, a lot of the bigger gaming YouTubes especially um, appeal to that. That's wrong, isn't it? And um, you know they play the the Minecraft games and they play all the the Fortnite games, which you know, appeal more to younger people. So if I do that first. But yeah, I am talking about those sorts of channels. Uh, Conclan. Problem is there, did I melt too much? I think I may have done. And there's cactus there. Oh, 
I really don't want to slide down there. That's costing me dearly. That's kind of what I want to do, though. I just don't, I don't know, call me, call me old or, or whatever. I just don't get the appeal of the, the Battle Royale games. It's like I was saying on your, um, your Discord earlier on, my son, like, he's, he's always talking about Fortnite to me. He's like, Dad, Dad, yeah, this thing on Fortnite, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, oh, will you play Fortnite with me? And I just, I, I just can't do it. Because I refuse to play a game where I get into a game, I spend two minutes walking around, find a front gun, only then for somebody to turn around in, in my back and just kill me straight away. I, d I don't enjoy that at all. I don't see the appeal of it. Like I say, call me... No, maybe maybe it's because I prefer the old the old game you know the old kind of like shoot and FPS games a bit like um, Call of Duty. Not that I play Call of Duty, but <sighs> I just don't. It's, to, to me, it's not enjoyable. It, it's not an enjoyable game. Why would I want to sit there um, preparing myself, getting weapons, only to be dead two minutes later? by someone who was following me. Makes no sense to me, but hey. I I am not a successful game developer, so what can I say? <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what the kids of today are, are, are wanting. This level is um, kicking my ass. No, I know, I know. This game being a prime example. Oh, will you stop doing that, please? It's really annoying. Excuse me. So... Maybe I want to get that one first at the top. one but then I can't get through there okay I guess what it comes down to with like Going back to that that, that discussion, um, my my kind of acceptance, I guess you could probably call it, the games industry these days is, um, it's a, has a lot to be desired. If I can land on that block, I'll be all right. I don't have a lot of faith in games developers anymore. Of things like um, DLC, which I am not a, a 
I'm not, I'm not a fan of, I'll be honest. But I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna start that argument, or that conversation, for sure. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, why did I do that? That was just dumb. That was just straight up dumb. That's what I've been wanting to do this whole time. There we go. Okay. That was the main problem though, because I, yeah. All right, so. I think from there, I should have got onto the top, jumped across for that one. I think that's what I need to do. Took two away there, that might be. My hampers later on, possibly. Uh oh, now I'm in trouble. <sighs> Jumped on one too many. Yeah, I just have a big like I think I have a big problem with what I perceive the bigger games develop games companies these days. Um how they kind of sell as games and DLC and stuff. Um, I believe games come a lot of games companies have become lazy um, as a result of being able to kind of patch games these days. Almost where it's now acceptable for a games company to sell us a half finished product, safe in the knowledge that they can they can patch it. Um, after day one kind of thing, which Yeah, I don't I don't agree with. But hey. My opinions are my own and do not represent those of You thought Fortnite was a sequel to Minecraft. Minecraft with guns. I mean, it's you know, it's, it's the, the influence though of, of like Fortnite, um, Player Unknown. It's had such a big impact on even like the AAA titles. I, I mean, I, I used to enjoy playing Call of Duty. Uh, I wouldn't say I was a big fanboy. I used to enjoy it, um, but I more enjoyed Call of Duty for the campaign aspect of it and now because of the whole because of the whole battle royale thing this year this year they kind of just said right we they effectively dropped campaign to bring a, a battle royale mode 
which kind of makes me sad because campaign was one of the main reasons I would buy Call of Duty. And granted, I haven't bought it now for the last three years. I, I did get last year's game, but that was because um, Activision actually gave me a free copy of the game. But yeah, I just don't... Um, No, I don't want to get on there. Yeah, I just don't really agree with it. And then, obviously, we have the whole... With all, like, the season passes and everything. I kind of feel that when you buy a... A £50 game... To, to fully enjoy it, you've then got to spend another £40... So the game actually is costing you like near a hundred pound. And uh, whilst I appreciate a lot of effort goes into these games, I don't think DLC should be a way to, you know, basically a justifiable way for them to sell us half a product. Because with the the triple A games come to these game studios, all their DLC is pre planned. Rather than maybe a smaller a smaller games development company who might think, Oh okay, like like yourself, Paul Punk, you know, you, you released some you released DLC for Recursed um, as a way to expand the gameplay. Um, I don't know if you had um, I don't know if it was based on like feedback from um, some of the early players of Recursed, or or what? Because obviously, I don't know again. Because obviously, I wasn't. Uh, I didn't discover Recursed till quite late on. But you basically released DLC to extend the game. Um, to potentially listen to your fan base, to give them, you know, some listen to their ideas and you know, build on those ideas and, and create something that they actually want. As opposed to where development companies come from these days, they're literally just kind of like money whoring and saying, oh yeah, well, we can do this, we can do this, and um, we'll plan all the game out, we'll strip half it out, and then we'll charge. Sorry, this isn't really a conversation I should be having when I'm kind of like deep in thought trying to work out this um, these levels. All right, so we got 14, 88 on that one. So that would be five, 65 deaths on that one. DLC should be a way that games companies can expand can offer players either something new or where they've listened to their fans, where their fans have like, you know, kind of like suggested uh, potential potentially, you know, improved features. Not something that's pre planned. Hey, they should base DLC on whether or not their game what is successful and whether or not the, the, the fan the base part. is wanting it's to expand it and wanting something more. It's my opinion. Part of the plan. Just wait a moment. Anyway, it's probably time I stopped. Um... It's probably time I stopped doing um... game company bashing. Uh, we've got now prepared traps. Someone set traps for us. To get to all of the self burns, you need to avoid them. Don't stare like that. It wasn't my idea. I got a five. Jeez.
Well, you know, that's just it though, isn't it? The guys are just trying, they're, they're just trying to make as much money as they can. But I think the, the younger generation are more, it's, ac it's acceptable for them. Does that have cactus on the bottom of it? Sorry, cacti. For the younger generation, they've they've grown up with it. So they are accepting of it. Which, you know, doesn't particularly help, I'll admit. But It is what it is, I'm afraid. And there ain't not a lot we're going to be able to do about it. Alright, so how am I meant to get that, I wonder? Do a little jump there, I guess. If I'm going to go from this orientation. Imagine though, like how frustrating it is, like for you as a as a as a games developer, though, poor Ponky. Because then, not it's not just these days. So much DLC. It's we've also got the issue. I I believe these days of. Um, Early access games. Early access games are a freaking a joke a lot of the time. And the reason I believe early access games are a joke because it's this. I think there's so many. There's so many games companies out there who release something on early access, start taking money for their product, and then just fall away on the wayside and you never hear from them again. And they just take your money. I don't think there's enough being done by the companies like Steam to kind of like prevent that kind of stuff from happening. Oh, I'm going to need to use that back so I can't do it this way. Unfortunate. I don't know what are your thoughts on early access stuff, or Ponky. opinionated tonight for some reason I don't know why
I'm stuck. No. I need that block there. So I don't know how I would... Maybe I could do that. Maybe. If I can actually grab that second one. this one. One more. Which, if I think if I can go across the top here... I can come out on there. That could work. That couldn't, though. That's just death. about that positioning. So I think I need a different orientation for that one. It's just death. Don't 
don't know how I would get this last one. So like, you gotta be like so precisely positioned. Now we can use this one. And this one. How do I get this one? I think. I'll do that. Yeah, they're not quick enough though, am I, to get that one? That's my issue. I need to get over here without hitting that block. Okay, so that would work. But how do I then get this one? So I've not got enough time. Oh, I know how I get it. I think. Alright, we may be done, guys. We may have worked it all out.
we'll get it. there first. Okay. We've done that, we've done that, we've done that. So now, let's try going over here. did it. We got there. We worked it all out. Fantastic. All right. What did we get there, though? Uh, 15, 24, 36 deaths. It was only 36 deaths. I 
guess that makes sense. What's going to be inside this one? Memory block C2 part one. Initiating recording. Mr. Himmel, we summoned you here for one reason. Are you absolutely sure that the predictions of your artificial intelligence are correct? Are those black holes really going to be there, as you said? Yes, absolutely. Good. So, what will happen if it really is true? I don't understand. What do you mean? Look, we can't just leave it like that, let you possess an intelligence that predicts the future so accurately. We need to protect it from falling into the wrong hands. You want me to transfer my device here? To your laboratory? No. We want you to deactivate and delete your artificial intelligence here and now. You can't be serious. This AI could be easily misused by anyone. If what you're saying really is true, stock prices could be predicted. Robberies, cheating, embezzlements, or scams. Don't you understand what kind of a catastrophe it may cause? But she is my child. My life's work. Our generation's treasure. You want me to throw her away just like that? She is saving your life. Project Endera will save millions of lives. It was supposed to be the start of a new future. We approve the Endera project. But it will be the last experiment designed by your artificial intelligence, Duriel. No one in this world should have such power. I just can't believe it. I came to you with this project, and this is how you treat me. You don't have any control over it. You can't stop it. You're wrong. It's happened already. Our unit is currently taking your laboratory to the testing lab on Andera. At the same time, they're erasing all of your devices. Except for the research on black holes, of course. There's got to be another way. Do you want to prove that Duriel worked? Complete the mission. Then we can have a discussion about the potential help this artificial intelligence may offer. Save us, and by extension, you save yourself as well as your child. End of recording. What? So Earth possessed an artificial intelligence capable of predicting the future? So now we know how the problem with black holes was created. And also the Indera project. The committee basically promised to fund the professor's new project, but only after he saves Earth. But he wanted to help. Are we missing something? Interesting. Alright, so... I think we'll tackle one more and then we'll probably call it a day for the stream tonight. So this is Old Market. Right, five again to find. So, how am I going to... Oh, 
button. It's exactly the same thing again because I keep pressing the wrong button. Like a freaking dumbass. I think I need to drop it in here if I can. So here's what I've not been liking so much about this game. Is the fact that there was a lot of... Oh no, what am I doing? Ignore that statement. I don't even know how to get one. Do I ride it, maybe? Can I ride it? Goes there, goes there, drops down to this. I wouldn't be able to. I have no idea here. Yes, thanks for letting buddy. Appreciate it. I don't know what to do. No problem being honest. So maybe if there I can get one of them. Go down here. So we could do that. So that's how we get one. I'm in 
of time to get around there. See if I could... See, once it's on there, I can't do a lot with it. See, I've sent that block over there. That's how I get that one. to keep hitting I keep hitting that gravity shifter there quick enough so maybe that's not what I've got to do. But then I don't know what else it could be. It's that ledge grab that messes me up. push it and jump.
If only I could push it from the other way. So far for this one, I only know how to get one out of the five. Oh dear. Getting pretty tired now as well, so it's uh, maybe it's probably a good place to leave it for today. I think I've done well to actually go about just over two hours tonight, if I'm completely honest. I say when I first started, when I was about to stream tonight, I just came across really tired, and really quite lethargic. I don't know. My diet has been like complete and utter poo pants like for the last few weeks. Like seriously. I think food is making me tired. Alright, so we got one. And I'm going to take that one for now. It is busy time of the year. <laughs> so, what do we get there? 15, um, 15. 15, 51. Which is 26, 27 deaths on that level. And looking at the scores tonight, total deaths. Drum roll, please. Tonight's total deaths is 301. 644. <laughs> Shit, there goes my headphones, jeez. Yes, he was way off, Bob Honky. We started on 12.50. Finish up on 15.51. We... We have got another 19 levels to open. So, we got this area to do. And then one other, I do believe. Let's just go back to the crush site real quickly before we end up.
I love the way my crew is just like chilling. Sorry, but the ship's condition is not good enough to go on the bridge. We require more self burns. We need more self burns to. Where is, um, Samsara? Samusa, sorry, Samusa. I've already got enough self burns, man. Seriously. These nanobots are amazing. Look at the ship. And more importantly, even the probability of the mission's success has increased. I can't express happiness, but. Can I do anything else now on the ship? Sorry, but the ship's condition is not good enough to go on the bridge. We require more self burns. We need more self burns to finish. Alright. Jeez, I had you the first time. The ship's looking nice though. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you um cleared that one up for me. I don't think I quite understood what the freaking AI said. Um, Selassie, Ati, Oh, it's this guy. He wants to talk to me. Interesting. Don't know why. Normally, he wants to talk to you after you've done a level. But... More progress. Look, I've got a fan here. Much nicer. Now, seriously, where did you get that fan or the parts for it? Bah. So yeah, we uh, we will be back with this uh, tomorrow night. We will hopefully go back to tackling the old site. Folks, not done. Did got distracted. Not done. Did can't jump either. Boxes are just in, as important as self burns.
do. drop down to here but I don't know how I would do that. So... We'll solve this black box before I call the stream out to close. I will. Can't start on the first one though. That's pushing our death count though, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. 
that's a forest gun. That's all I gotta say about that. Does that help me though? Does that help me? The only thing I could think, I don't think it'll work though. move it. My idea was going to be to like move it in that direction but I don't think that's going to work. idea is to get it to hit this one here so it falls down I can push it across it's actually going to hit this one and push it down so I can drop down jump on this ledge here get back over and across so maybe I'm over maybe I am over complicating Maybe I'm doing more than I actually need to do here. Maybe. I've not been looking at the right idea, the right solution.
you know what? I think I solved this before and I didn't realise. Sneeze hurts your chest, man. It's not good at all. Ugh. Oh, you're kidding me. Wow. Seriously, game. Why did it move? Why did he move so much, man? That's just game controlling. I hate it. This is all I need to do. I thought I'd solved it.
yeah, we did this before, didn't we? And it didn't. Yeah, that's what we did before. And we've added a whole load of other deaths to our... Um, That's given us another 29 deaths as well to boot. Oh, making a grand total tonight of 330. Alright, well. I'm pretty beat though, guys. I am going to call the stream there tonight. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. We got through the uh, chapter 4. We got through chapter 4 after that... Um, at the final rest in the final crew member. Uh, we then battled the avalanche and made it through finally. And um, we've done three levels. Uh, so we've done three levels. We've completed three levels uh, on this one so far with um, a single burner on the next one. So... Um, yeah, we'll pick it up again tomorrow night, guys. Thank you very much, like I said, for tuning in. I really do appreciate the support. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. And congratulations on fixing your flower game, Port Punky. Enjoy the rest of your evening, afternoon, whatever time of day it is with you. Um, as always, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.